Hello everybody, welcome back to Couch Champion Gaming and Super Mario Sunshine with special guest. Hey, Mr. Bobbly's here. This is my favorite game of all time. Yeah! I'm so excited to be here halfway through the series. I know. So, we, we, we hit a snag with it, um, and once again, we build a new PC and everything else. Uh, and I basically decided to take a break from Super Mario Sunshine for a while, and then with Mr. Bobbly... Whoops. Uh, how do I get to the... Did it, I was trying to get to the map. It's I, um, the Z button. Oh when, you're, oh, when you're not the pause menu. Okay. Um, so that's 10 shines. The guy Rico. instinctively knew what button uh, it exactly. was. Exactly. <laughs> so I still need to do one Rico Harbor here yet. Bianco should be done. Gelato's done. Hit so, the guide. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, the guide's that thing. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah. Isn't there like a, literally so, like a menu Noki that brings up all the shines? Not, uh, oh, the totals. You click the totals on the shine on the right. Oh, right. And it brings yeah. up everything. Boom. So basically, I need to do one in Rico Harbor, and Pinna some, Park, and Serena, Pinna Park Beach. Serena Beach, and Panada Village. That's not too bad. So no, let's that's do not it. Really so we're, let's go to Rico Harbor. Oh, jeez. Like I say, it's been a little while. I forgot about like the the inverted for the camera. Yeah. Woohoo! No, I love listen. it when you go in sideways. I know. I this is it. my favorite game of all time. If you watch the Who is Mr. Bobbly video, this I talk about this game a lot how much I love this game and adore this game. And then John was like playing it and I was like, oh, that'd be, cause I once, I said, I was like, we should play that on your channel or on my channel. And you're like, I'm actually playing it on my channel. And I was like, fuck, I wanted to play it. And then, oh, dope by accident. I didn't mean to. And then we were like, we're still playing Captain Toad and we're trying to get that done. But like, it's so much longer than we thought it was going to be. Yep. And so we were like, we're going to play on your channel. Cause Armored Core turned to shit. <laughs> we don't talk about Armored Core. <laughs> And so I was honest. like, well, John, why don't you, like, complete one of the games, I'll just join it halfway, and it'll be fine. He was like, okay, and I was like, let's play Super Mario Sunshine, it'll be good. John, I'm so upset that you haven't already got him. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, what? No, oh, come on, you dick. Like I say, I'm not... Even back in the day, I never necessarily oh. claimed to be the greatest at this game. I was the greatest at this game. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, I didn't exactly beat this game, like, ten times for nothing. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I've probably beat this game, like, total start to finish, maybe three times. Totally. I'm, like, I've collected 120 shines, like, two or three times. Uh, you, I obviously haven't. The only shines, reason I so. never did was because I could always forgot which blue coins I was on. I couldn't, uh, and there were so many. That's the only reason I wouldn't always do it, is... Yeah. It was a pain in the ass. If I didn't keep track of it, then I could never find it, at, like, later. I was spent so much time looking around, I was like, I don't remember which ones I have. Oh. But, yeah. There I love is. this game. And it still I, looks, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, like I say, I think... I, there's a lot of people that give this game shit, and I'm like, why? It's so good. That wasn't a jump, apparently? Come on. Oh, I got him, finally. Oh my god. Yeah, no, like, That was a painful experience minutes. for me. <laughs> I, I bet it was. Get it, come on, what are you doing? Jump higher. That has nothing to do Just with it until it touches the ground. Just collect it. I tried. I tried so hard. Yay! Yeah, yeah. fifty-one. Look fifty-one. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I'm sorry I had to be unprofessional and look at my phone for a second. I did that during one of your I know you did. Too, so, because you're like, sorry, I was looking at my phone. Yeah. Completely just like, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> Woo! All right. Deb's alert. Ah, oh, the good old Deb's alert. It's been reported that a lone Yoshi egg has been spotted. On a local rooftop. Yep, that's cool, right? This news oh, is unconfirmed because you totally can't see it. What the Yoshi egg? Yeah, like everyone can't just look up it. It's over on the down over there. Yeah, right over there. Boom. Sometimes it's a pineapple. Too. Get in there. I was like, I was like the swirly colors. The swirly goop. I loved how good this game was. It was just like it looked so pretty. Did you know that that menu? I watched somebody like they had like. A port of this game on like their computer um if you like take it and like it's in a 3d space did you know that i did not yeah it's just like in like a blank sky box with like water if you zoom out it's just like a gradient and then the shines are just floating there and it's all huh. like layered yeah i didn't know that's how they make that's really cool that's apparently how they like, make they do like the boundary break stuff i know sometimes they do that for like 
uh, title screens and stuff like that. Sometimes they do it where it's like literally just like floating text. It's not like a flat image. It's like floating text in like a skybox or something. Yeah, because like they have like the skybox. Like, oh, well, instead of putting like a video in the background, let's just put it in the skybox and we'll just put an image and line the camera up with it. Yeah. Because like all the text is like layered and that's how they get like nice shadows effects. Yeah. What's this one? What's this mission? I was thinking. The Secrets of Delfino. Is this the one we like go through? Secret all? Coins or something it said. Oh, those should be in the... um. Are these the, the ones? Casino, isn't it? Not yet. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. He should tell you. I didn't pay attention when I walked through the door. I think this is the. No, maybe not. I don't remember. No, because the casino is still blocked off. Oh, oh no, okay, yeah. it is the casino. Yeah, this is okay. the first one for the casino. All right. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to the thing here. Because this should be the one we get to rig the. Uh, you have to rig the slot machines. And then you have to do the stupid Stop flippy going. one. I like your hat. By this the is the way. first time I've ever seen water-powered slots. That he has a hole for his leaves. I know. Yeah! Woo! Why would you do that one? I don't know. You had it already. I know. Yeah! You did it, Johnny. Are you proud of yourself? No. Not really. Give me my prize! You don't get a prize. You got to think they would do the other one. I know. Give me... My prize. Yeah, you know what your prize is? You get to fight King Boo later. Yeah. But before that, you do some good platforming. Oh, no, not Boo's. Get out of here, Boo. Yeah, come on, John. We do. Kill it. Blub, 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 blub. Get out of here. Get out of here. You, know, you can kill it, right? Jump on it. Oh, I just want to squirt it in the face. Just want to squirt it in the like, face. Like, we talked about in Captain Toe, we were like, 3D Mario games don't follow Mario physics. No, they don't. Like, you suddenly have to care about breathing underwater, and you can kill booze. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense, because that's never how it works. Nope. And, and in like, this... And like, in this situation here, like, there's fire. Put it out. Blue coin. Yeah. How'd you not see that coin in there first? And the fire's still going, by the way, too. Well, it's magic fire. There's no such thing as magic fire. Maybe it's an oral fire. This, I will admit, was always an annoying part. Sometimes if you do that, that is pretty cool. You do, like, the shotgun blast. Oh, on. yeah, where you, like, ground pound and do it. Well, you don't have to ground pound. You just have to... Um... You just, like, jump, and you have to hit, like, A and, like... Oh, you, uh, it's like when you do the, uh, time. yeah, like, the long jump. Like, look at that. I didn't, like, squirt that one there, and no, it still No, this, this was always the part that I was like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you can spray it, and it just won't... Look, look at that fucking thing go! I know, I love it. It always... It's the best. Whatever, that's fine if it's up on the upper parts. It's like, the inner the inner parts is part of the problem sometimes. I always started from the top and went down. Yeah, I know. Like but I'm just, a rebel, I decided You just have so that. much more control over it. God damn it, <laughs> you piece of shit! Oh, it's good. It's a good game. This is this good for you? I love the it. The violence is good for me. Says. <laughs> Should I actually say something? Is that a quote? Do you not remember? Oh, wait, you didn't do that. We went to the employee bowling thing or No, dad, I didn't go to that. And I wore, I wore my Zelda shirt. And he was like, oh, it's your favorite Zelda. And I was like, I don't know, probably like. Wind Waker or Link to the Past like that. He's like, yeah, I like, I like Twilight Princess. It's like a little bit more like violent, more realistic. The violence is good for me. And it's like, the, the fuck, fuck did you just say to me, name? dude? Are you going to censor out the part where he said his name or going to leave that in there? Just let that be out in the world. I'll probably censor it out. Because he, I think he might watch. Uh, he probably does. I'll probably censor it out so I don't hurt anybody's feelings. But, but they know. <laughs> yeah, they know. I always like Majora's Mask because it was actually like fucked up and kind of creepy. There's always that thing about like, oh, is Link actually dead? Not even, it wasn't even that. It was the fact that it was like, oh, it's going to be like the end of the world and... Yeah. It's like, oh, you have to like go back and every time you put a mask on, he screams. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, this is a... This oh, is a god damn it, I didn't hit this that. This is a child-friendly game, guys. Yeah. That was going to land on the right one. You think it was? It was. <sighs> Cause it always slows down like that before it stops. BAM! Got it, sucker! Yeah, now you still have the platform. I know. <laughs> and these are the parts that I struggle with. But these are the best parts. 
These are the parts that made Mario Galaxy, which was also... But Mario Galaxy had super tight controls, though. I'm not saying that this doesn't, though, either, but, like, once again, this, I... this was designed for the backpack, and then, like, the whole physics of the game was designed with the backpack in mind, and then, like... See, I've never really had an issue with any of these parts. That was... That was dumb. That was Don't get dumb. me wrong. That was a dumb choice. I just tried... Yeah, I just tried um, to just do that fast. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I will say, that's... I did not enjoy Mario, Mario Galaxy as much. I never played the second one. But the first one, I will say, I was not a fan of. It was too linear. I could, I, I could understand Because, like, you that. played the levels, and it was like, yeah, you went back to, like, this... Because, like, you didn't... You didn't really go back to the same worlds ever. So they were all levels, and, like, they, you did, like, once or twice... But it was yeah. always, like, it would change enough that it was just, like, you're going this way. Like, you... The first few were, like, open, but after that, it was like, yeah, you're just gonna walk in this direction and platform for a while, and that's it. I forget how to do this here. You just gotta, like, work your way. <laughs> oh, fuck! Mm. Not gonna talk about that. No? You want me no. to try it? If I die in this one, I'll yeah. I was like, I could probably do this. Just give me a second to like get back used to the controls and yeah. Cause like I've recently I've recently played Mario Odyssey and got all the moons. Okay. That's and pretty cool. um, so I'm pretty used to those controls. Okay. Yeah. Which when I first played Mario Odyssey, I was like, these controls suck, and I've gotten got used to them and I like don't mind them as much, but I definitely don't think they're as um. Huh. I've never done this before. Yeah, I just I just recently thought about this. I was like, <laughs> I'm having problems going through this. Why wouldn't I just jump on top of these things? Because then you could just like, uh, like you could just like hung out on top and waited for like a good moment. Now, see, this is the part that's gonna suck here for me. Because like I'm bad at like, what do you even call it? Like, judge that. Like I'm bad at judging, judging when like I need the to like and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> All right, one more and then one more. Yeah, okay. Because I definitely it's not like I get that got stuck at the same point. No, you got like farther. Yeah. And just wait for these dumb things to... But, like I say, that's some of the times I just... Mm. It takes a lot for me to get angry at a game, and I feel like that's the big difference right here. Yeah. Because, like, I've played indie games that have made me mad, and the best part about that is I'll just stop the recording and scrap the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I never played this game. It's fine. It didn't happen. <laughs> like, like, I try not to do that, but there have been a few indie games, like, I play them, and I'm just like, this is not... I'll be honest with you, surprisingly, I don't think I've really ever got, like, mad at playing an indie game. There's been a few that were, like, I've meant just to been, be rage-inducing or I've whatever. I've just been, like, to the point where I'm just like, I'm not gonna play this game. You know what I mean? Like, this game's not good, I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, like, there's games that start really strong, but then, like, nothing new happens, and I'm like, I've run out of things to say. And it's a shame, because they're good, but I'm like, it's not interesting enough. Yeah. Because that's my biggest thing, too, is, like, I'm, like, ashamed to say this, but I don't... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that jump normally, what do you think? Well, it'd help if you would have jumped. <laughs> I, I know. Um, but, see, like, right there. Like, that's that kind of thing that I think me and you talked about. I think maybe with the Wii, it introduces, like, a, just a slight little bit. Yeah, it's, it's like, not as good as playing on the game. Yeah, game. I definitely feel like I am, like, definitely hitting the jump button right when I need to. Yeah, because, like, I just really we talked about it. Because, like, I'd play this game, and my only issue would ever be playing it on the Wii. Like, I'd be really good at it, and I'd be, like, flying through the game. And if I played it on the Wii, all of a sudden, I would hit these walls. And I was like, why can't I do this level all of a sudden? Yeah. Like, why aren't the controls, like, as tight as they used to be? Yeah. Hey, look at that. I got it. Wow. Good job. You just basically needed to threaten me to take yeah. the controller away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but by playing indie games, it's a shame, because, like, I don't... I have a hard time buying indie games, because they're always, like, ten bucks. They're always cheaper. But I'm always like, am I going to enjoy this for this amount? Yeah. I'm um, like, because there's no... Like, big companies, there's, like, at least the guarantee of that. Yeah. But even then, if I buy a game from a big company and I don't like it, I don't feel like I wasted my money as much as if I buy an indie game and I didn't like it. Agreed. Because, like, a big company, I'll just fucking refund the game and I'm done. But an indie game, I feel bad refunding because I'm like, this is not, like, a million dollar company making this. This is, yeah. like, five dudes and I just gave them 20 bucks. And then I'm like, I want my money back because your game stinks. Yeah. And, like, I feel bad about that kind of stuff. No, uh, I, I, I understand that entirely, honestly. Um... Also, because when I know I can play so many indie games for free, it makes it hard for me to, like, want to pay for them. Because, like, I've bought indie games before on Steam, but they're always, like, big hits before I buy them. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like, it's actually worth buying. And, I don't know, it's just, like, it's just that one kind of thing that I'm like, I don't really... 
know how to feel about this or like what to do about this. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Because like, especially because like I don't have like money to just buy games, so if I'm gonna buy a game. I'm really gonna buy a game. Yeah. No, I trust me. I, under, I understand that and wholeheartedly, entirely. All right. So this is the King Boo level, and you know what? I'm gonna say we do that next time here on Couch Champion Gaming. Bye, guys.